Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we continue our celebration of Christ's resurrection and suffering the gift of our faith. The Sunday also called Divine Mercy Sunday. As Christians, we are called to face the difficulties of life with God's mercy providing us confidence. As we prepare to celebrate the Eucharist, we call upon the grace of baptism to remain strong and faithful. Lord Jesus, you rise us to new life Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive give us of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, in Christ we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> Many signs and wonders were done among the people at the hands of the apostles. They were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the others dared to join them, but the people esteemed them. 
Yet more than ever, believers in the Lord, great numbers of men and women were added to them. Thus, they even carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and mats so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on one or another of them. A large number of people from the towns in the vicinity of Jerusalem also gathered, bringing their sick and those disturbed by unclean spirits. They were all cured. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, your brother, who share with you the distress, the kingdom, and the endurance we have in Jesus, found myself on the island called Patmos because I proclaimed God's word and gave testimony to Jesus. I was caught up in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a voice as loud as a trumpet which said, write on a scroll what you see. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands, one like a son of man, wearing an ankle length robe with a gold sash around his chest. When I caught sight of him, I fell down at his feet as though dead. He touched me with his right hand and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. Write down, therefore, what you have seen and what is happening and what will happen afterwards. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows, follows me, will have the light of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, 
When the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other's disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the marks of the nails in his hands, and put my fingers into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I do not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said to them, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I was preparing this yesterday, just as I had finished reading the two uh, readings and then the Gospel, in the background I had golf on, and it, I had caught someone had made a hole in one. And what rushed into my mind was that I do like to golf. And when I get the opportunity, I get out and play. And during the summer, I've yet to play, but during the summer, if I have a chance, I'll go out and play nine holes. And if I can't find someone to play with, I play it alone. And my greatest fear is that I am still in search of that elusive hole-in-one that I'm going to get one, and I'll have no one to witness it. Will anybody believe me when I tell them I had a hole in one? Or will they say, or be like Thomas's? They'll doubt me, saying someone has to see it to believe it. But I, I'll know I did it. And I, I guess I'll be, I'll be like the other disciples. I'll, I know I believe in the risen Lord, and I know I had a hole in one, so it would be okay. And I hope I get it, one Lord. This passage we hear from John today, we read it every year, the Sunday after Easter. And again, we've all heard the term Doughty Thomas, and that's, that's where it comes from. And it was only a couple of years ago that that it really sunk in how Thomas couldn't believe without seeing. And as, again, all of us have experienced, and trust me, truly I, many times in our lives, that where I have experienced, and just think about it, 
in, in, in the course of our lives, times where we've had troubles with jobs, or in financial situations, or in relationships with friends, or in particularly in the death of family members or loved ones, that we're challenged with our faith, our belief in God, where we say, where is God? Why isn't he here with us? How could he let these things happen? And that we're challenged by them. But I, I think as we get older, and as I've gained a little wisdom, and as if you'd ask my wife, it's only a little, but you realize that God is with us all the time. He's with us in every one of those journeys. And, and you, you, as you get older, you, get, you see it everywhere. Every time you take a look and see, you look out the window and see the flowers and the birds and your family, your children, your friends. You experience it and you f realize it and feel it in our lives. And that there are less and less doubting Thomas moments in our lives. And that our faith is growing and it keeps growing. I'd, I'd be remiss today if I didn't talk about, today is also Divine Mercy Sunday. And a lot of people don't know what Divine Mercy Sunday is or what Divine Mercy is. I, I love telling people the story of five years ago when I was, had the opportunity to start attending Mass on a daily basis. They used to say the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And the first time I heard it, I had no idea what it was or what it meant. And eventually someone gave me a pamphlet and it showed how to pray it. And then I went home and, as you do with everything, I Googled it. And I, and I looked into who St. Faustina was and what Divine Mercy was. And I, I, I went immediately then to Amazon and ordered a book, The Diaries of St. Faustina. And, and as soon as it came, it was an easy read and read it. And what a beautiful story. And, and, and this is something that only happened last century. And to be honest, the first celebration of Divine Mercy Sunday happened this century, it happened on um, April 22nd, 2001, only 21 years ago. It was first celebrated by St. Pope John Paul II, who had shortly, the year, year before, canonized St. Faustina. And she was a saint that was born in 2005 in Poland. She was born... Helena Kowalska, and she took her vows on May 1st, 1933, and unfortunately she died on October 5th, 1938, a short life. But in that short lifetime, she, she put in a diary her highs and lows in, her, in, in that short faith life, and boy, there were many, real lows and real highs. And is the, the biggest thing is that Jesus Christ himself asked her to have this painted of him. Jesus did. And I'm sure most of you have seen this picture. And this picture was only done in, 19, in 1935, I think, 36. And it's a beautiful picture and how this Divine mercy is spread across the world that St. Faustina did. And I want to I share with you how it's, how it's prayed. It's done on a, ros on a rosary, using the rosary beads. And on the Hail Mary beads, you say this, For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Again, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Being human, we're all human beings. We are going to need that mercy from our Lord and Savior. 
So I ask you in these next six weeks of the Easter season, remember that word mercy. Such an easy word. Mercy. It's a smile when someone walks by. It's a hello. It's helping of someone open a door. Giving someone that smile that helping them. Because remember, we're all going to need that mercy from our Lord and Savior when we meet him someday. And he's going to ask us, what mercy have we shown to others? Now let us stand, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he'll come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Just as the Lord breathed the Holy Spirit on the disciples, we ask for an outpouring of that same Spirit upon a world in need of peace and unity that our church leaders and the members of our community may bear witness to the resurrection of, of Christ with strength and power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our world leaders may strive to find an end to war and division. We especially pray for the people of the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Steve and Maggie who have been recently welcomed into our parish community at Easter, will know the peace of the risen Christ. In celebrating with our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the recently deceased, including Jerry Blickham, Jerry Malik, Alfred Bernucci, Maria Suska, and for the intentions of our Mass, Julie Bellin and Leo Picos, Vera Cavato, Phyllis Jocitas, Sarah Little Rato, birthday breast blessings for Gertrude Smith, Clarence Brer family, Joseph Forsley, Sue Wren, Bill Kulakowskis, Ella Barrett, Thomas Burns, James Driscoll, parishioners of St. Alphonsus and St. Patrick, Chester Kuzea, Eugene Kuzma, Jerry Noga, Carlos Reina, and for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God of life and love, hear the prayers of your people. Bring comfort to the weary and hope to those struggling with doubt. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. No gracious words we hear from him who spoke as none has spoke, but we believe him near. 
We may not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod, but in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. Help them, O Lord, our unbelief, and may our faith abound to call on you when you are near and seek where you are found. Now pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of his name for a good Accept, O Lord, we pray, the blessings of your people that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, all is at all times to acclaim your Lord, but on this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcame with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, while giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks that you have held us worthy
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you, throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with them and in him, O God, O Mary, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on the side of my heart, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ.
for those who are unable to receive communion at Mass, we will pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Our announcements, we invite you to join us in person for Mass. We celebrate Mass on Saturdays at 4 p.m. at St. Alphonsus Church and on Sundays at 7.30 a.m. at St. Alphonsus Church, 9 a.m. at St. Patrick Church, and 11 a.m. at St. Alphonsus Church. Join us on Sunday, May 1st, as we honor Mary with a May crowning and special Marian devotions. The May crowning will be held following 11 a.m. Mass at St. Alphonsus Church. We will gather outside, weather permitting. We would also like to invite all those who are making their first communion on the Saturday before to join us in your first communion attire. Today, Sunday, is Divine Mercy Sunday. Please join us at 3 p.m. at St. Patrick Church for the recitation of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy and Benediction. Thank you to those who have continued to support our parish. Donations may be made online on our website or dropped off or mailed to our parish office, which is located at 210 East Logan Street in Lamont. Let us pray. Grant to pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. 